Okay, so the quintuple threat. <laughs> Naz welcomes you to season four premiere of Ink, Blood, Meat, and Grit. Hey. Yeah, clap now. Thank you. So well happy done. International Women's Day in our oh, and, and happy yes. International Women's Day. Yes. 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 Please, let's introduce our Wait guests. now, what's he doing? I'm Sitting down here. The show has started. <laughs> Wait, the show has started. No, no, show has so started. Wait now, we're coming there. But so, we're coming so, to so, you. So, wait, so, wait, 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 please patience. flash um, Zulu's variety something. Yes, when, well, so, yes. Even though they didn't release it on... Women's Day. It was like two days, two, two days before uh, International Women's Day. So, um, Zulu in Africa, amongst all the African producer women, talking blah, blah, blah. Yes, about women in film. was on Variety. You should check it out. Yeah. So, <laughs> even though Damala said that we must do 40 minutes um, every episode, but you can see... Go on, yeah. nice, start the show. Hi, guys. <laughs> no, wait. Hi, I everyone. Was going no, 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 it's okay. It's wow. Okay. It's okay. You've done enough. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to the England Meet and Greek podcast. And Bagam. Our... But I said that already. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our first guest for this season, we know that once we start with this guy, the season is set. We yes. We've just made everywhere soft. Yes. <laughs> with our, our, our G right here, mm-hmm. right. Mr. Bobby. Right. Mm-hmm. I know that's class of seven in order, but I'm going Bobby Ugboma. 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 That is yeah. easy now. Hi, welcome, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Say, so, Thank do you. we, is this where we now reel out his CV? No, 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 let's leave, let's keep the CV. <laughs> let's leave the CV quiet. No, but are you sure? Yes. Because I, you know, I, I said I was a great tip. Very stiff when no, people start saying, No, but it's true now. But you know, I wait now. So I said Quinty, but I think if you live in your own, you will get to 10. <laughs> 10 to 10. <laughs> well, so let me ask you a random other question. And this is a me question. Why did you choose to do a romantic comedy as your first own film with you as a romantic comedy lead? It's her day. It's her day. I wrote that movie in 2004. When you thought you were a romantic comedy lead? <laughs> <laughs> I've been no. spending too much time with her day. No, <laughs> not really. So you see, <laughs> wow. I think I have a thing for satire. Okay. Okay. I was basically trying to tell the story of the Nigerian wedding space. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it wasn't about it being a ro- it wasn't about the genre. It was about the craze okay. that about goes weddings. A, mm. into Nigerian weddings, weddings yeah. basically. Then if you're asking me as an actor, yes, in, exactly. You know, I'm very flexible. (laughs) And that's one part of me I think the world is about to know completely. So because I started off with comedy, people are like, oh, this is you. And it happens to pretty much every actor, not just Mm -hmm. in Hollywood, in Hollywood Mm -hmm. as well. Oh, this is you because I was doing it for a long period of time, Mm -hmm. right? But I'm so flexible. I'm shapeless. Even MVP, you are still romantically inside. No, but there was... So, yes, I understand. I understand. So you gravi- as an actor, you gravitate towards romantic leads. Accept it. Some people just believe that you just came, just drop money, and you just walk up. If you don't drop, drop money, money where's the film? Uh, where's the film if you don't drop no, money? So that means so he's executive producer and producer. Sorry, don't go. Uh-huh. I so, don't think I'm a producer. I've never really done the, the job of a producer. No, but what do you consider the job of a producer? Um, the eye of the executive producer no. to no. run the well, to run the production. That's, a li- that's so like that's, a line. So that's, okay, so that's the whole Nigerian versus abroad. So, yeah, so, 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 so the producer is the so in film, sha producer is the most senior production person oh, who is the creative partner of the writer, the director, the actors to create the film. Is the person that wins the best actor Oscar? Is the producer? But here, best the, actor Oscar, sorry, best, best film, best best film Oscar. Oscar. but we call it here mm. executive, executive producer. producer. Really? Yes. Yeah. The fact that I don't know shows that I've never really been a producer. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. No, it's just, you, it's just the way, it's just that, the way we view things here. I would say that, would say that, that just, on both It's Her Day <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> MVP, you, you wrote it, you raised the funding, you worked with yeah. the director to get your final cut, you oversaw the marketing, the distribution. That's, yeah, producer. Uh, but I had a producer as well. You had a producer yeah. creator? Yeah, 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 I mean, yes. I know, but I'm just, anyway. Okay. Okay, so, so basically, I've been something on my life that I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you're overachieving, you just have to just achieve stuff like that. You don't know that you're doing it on the side. So what was it like for you being on set? Because on a project that is not yours, so it's a different thing when it is your project and you have full creative control, mm-hmm. you can say that, no, don't do this like this. Mm. But when it is someone else's uh, mm. whatever, what was it like? First off, it was, um, for me, a lot of relief that... I'm on a set and I'm not struggling to manage affairs on the set. <laughs> I just liked the fact that I was an actor. And you said you're not a producer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No worrying about generator. No, 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 because up. in my own productions, I've been executive producer mm. and actor. So 
it, because I'm acting on the set, I can't close my eye to something that I see is going <laughs> yeah. wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, so that burden was off me. I just like the fact that they call me and say, you know what, show up on set. Matter of fact, after day three, I called one of the ADs and said, listen, if you need me for 12, mm-hmm. tell me to come by 11.45. Don't tell me to come by 10, oh, sure. because I will be yeah. on time. On time. time. Mm-hmm. Super I'm on very time. precise with my time. This is true. Yeah, right. true. So they agreed with me, mm-hmm. and it was, it was, you know, a burden of my, my chest that I could come on set and focus on the craft and all. Then, artistically, I enjoyed working with my actors because I had to adjust myself, Mm. right? Um, I didn't write the story. Yeah. So I had to adjust myself. Then I had to liaise with the director. Him. What was he as a director? director. Look, this guy has the temperament I will not recommend (laughs) for any Nigerian director. Mm -hmm. But I also learned, the major lesson I learned from working with Naz is Mm how to delegate and let people just do their job, okay. right? Wow, because, this is actually... Hey, 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 <laughs> Maybe as a director mm-hmm. on set. Okay. You know why? Mm-hmm. I'm on set, I'm watching the 80s. This guy's own is, when I need my actors, I need my actors. I'm just not get them talk, ready. I'm not going to talk <laughs> to the actors. You have your responsibility Go and to do get it. the actors. Yeah. So basically, I, his temperament was so cool, it made me behave myself. Like, <laughs> nah, you don't, you don't want to see this person <laughs> on the flip side, right? And that was what I really enjoyed. And it's, it's uh, I never thought it's possible <laughs> to get in your Nigeria. Results. You said in yeah, Nigeria. to get your results like that. You know, for, so, a, for a director not to flip. Oh, now I really once. wish we're in the director. So we'll see. No, so this is we'll so this is the difference, yeah, right? When Naz is director of a film set, and he's, mm. he's a lazy director, and that let me just focus on my work. I don't want to tell you that thing. When he is not pro- when he's not directing, <laughs> and you go down, they put her inside like everything, everything. <laughs> uh, hey, this one, that one, this one, this one. It's very weird that what you are saying that Zulu is like, yeah, is I was like, yeah, I was about to tackle you. That because at this background, when he was so chill on set, he was so chill. I guess he needs to be very, very creative in that space at that time, so he's able yeah, to. But, but are you know, crying? But you know, no, I'm laughing. But you know what he does that when he's now pissed off, you know what? His hair will now be sweating. His head is so chill. It made me so chill. And towards the end, one day I flipped, <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I flipped on." You flipped set. internally. I, I was, no, 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 no. I exploded. I, oh, I, 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 I exploded. I lost it. I, that's, don't give us the gist. I, I did. You don't remember what the context oh, wow. was. And, I always forget everything. And with what happened, <clears throat> when he heard, he was like, "Okay, make sure." To, like I remember. I'm yes, looking at him like. That didn't flip you. <laughs> <laughs> really? I remember. Yes. Yes. You know, that didn't trigger you. Like, you know, he was just like, okay, very goal oriented, mm. ultimately. Mm. Like, okay. But, but it was, I was like, okay, no. This because is the other too thing much. is, by the time you flip out and all of that, you're wasting time. No, but, uh, but I spoke to the girl, you know, she cried. I ended up begging her. <laughs> We are still shooting. <laughs> and you see, you see, waste of time. You see, no, 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 no. Sleep, you won't have I to don't beg. think. No. <laughs> so when I lost it and shouted, right, mm-hmm. everything was still calm. Mm-hmm. Then Perry came and said, "What, what, what happened?" <laughs> and I said, "I was like, are you daft?" <laughs> and I was like, "Perry, no." <laughs> Cold and icy. I knew it was full. I was like, Perry, no. Like, he sorted me that was angry. Was that saying that you're not making Well, he people. just said, you know, you daft. <laughs> no matter of fact. So, they are shooting the scene. I'm supposed to walk in this scene like 30 seconds or one minute in. Mm. So, while I'm chilling by director, waiting for my cue to walk in, I just look into the room behind and the girl is like, cry me a river. <laughs> So I go there, I'm like, no, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, I begged her. So, Watch out for the perfect arrangement. We will get to that point. Yes. So yes, when we had the conversation about perfect arrangement, you were worried about it being pure, like it was more in the traditional mode of a pure romantic comedy. Mm. But I do find it interesting that audiences really react to you as a leading romantic. I actually find as that... They, as a com- but also I with find the com- that very they, fascinating. With the comedic, mm. with the comedic slant. Well, com- yeah. yes yeah. and no, but I just... Yes, but you see... Not all comedians. Why do you find it fascinating is my question. So, oh, oh, let me put it like well, this. Well, because it's a one comedian. Of the things, no. One of the things that, buff, that 
I remember my it was like Adam Sandler being a pure romantic comedy lead. It was it didn't make sense initially because normally people yeah like, initially but you have to give people sometimes you have to give people but it worked but all of his films are romantic comedies effectively yeah that's, yes. what I, that's my point like it's very but Adam Sandler was was he sta- was he stand up who Adam no no oh, Adam Sandler oh, oh, Adam Sandler but what, 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 what Adam Sandler stand up. Yes, yeah, Saturday Night Live now, you joking. No, that's within a sketch. No, from, that's between, everybody, no. to get on Saturday Night Live, no, 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 but he didn't do stand-up outside, outside that. Outside of that, as in stage, did. by of himself, yes, whatever, that they people all knew stand-up. him as. Yeah, they all started stand-up. Okay, so now, this was one of the things that blew my mind when I first met Bovi, and we started talking about film. Apart from the fact that he knew a bunch of our movies and was deeply... That's the one that really blew you. Yeah, so that one blew me. So my, my first, my head, my head swelled small that night. And I was like, ah, cool. Came back down small. But then it was also the bit where he talked about the fact that you have comedic actors that have that challenge where I'm, an act, I'm a stand-up comedian. I do skits. I do those kind of things. And because of that, everybody wants to pigeonhole you and put you into that role mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. you are just a comedic act mm-hmm. on stage. So with everything, they won't put you in like deep dramatic roles, they won't put mm-hmm. you in like an action role and all of that. But he said, for him, he wants to be like, but, and he used an example, Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. And for me, I was like, oh my God, I've been following Jamie Foxx since the Jamie Foxx show. Mm-hmm. And he used to do stand up then and basically realized that the, his real name is not Jamie Foxx. But mm-hmm. one of the reasons why he used Jamie Foxx was that then they, there, were, there were not a lot of women in stand up. Mm. So if you see Jamie Foxx, you think he's a woman. So you give that person, <laughs> they say, like, oh yeah, let's put this person on. He said, babe, what's, what's there? Right. So that's how he used to Sensei. get on stage. So he got on stage, but Jamie Foxx was stand up comedian. He got the Jamie Foxx show, which was a comedy show sitcom back in the night. Yeah, sitcom and all of that. Then, but if you look at his movies, he was in Ali, mm-hmm. he was in Stealth, he was in Ray. None of those roles have any ounce of comedy in it. Mm-hmm. But you don't do that thing where you look at Jamie Foxx and you're expecting him to make you laugh when mm-hmm. he shows up in a movie. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, if Bobby can crack it, and then both, I'm yeah. all of it for it. I'm, I'm here for it. So I always believed that with parents where your dad's like a musician and then you start to pick up music. Mm-hmm. Sometimes because, you know, that's that is the family it. way mm-hmm. and that's what you know. Is it the case where you expose that to that and you're like, you know, mm-hmm. this, this, this? Or is it that she picked it up herself? Okay. I will, I will first, I'll tell you two things. The first one is something I really don't know how it works, but I... I believed it because of that. My daughter is my birthday mate. Oh, okay. Right. right. So she pretty much has my temperament and everything. Mm-hmm. Secondly, she started expressing herself before she started talking. Okay. Those who used to follow me on Snapchat way back, they mm-hmm. were my f- daughter's first set of fans when she okay. was still mumbling okay. words. She has always been expressive. So it's just her. It's not like she knew herself or she her line started before she even knew what I do okay. for a living. Okay. Yeah, so That's awesome. Natural, when she was doing Tinko Tinko, who would be my daddy? Who would be my daddy? When she was in hell, she was like, okay, that guy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all watch out for a new movie coming out. It's titled The Perfect Arrangement. Is I she? star opposite Sharon Uja. And uh, trust me, you want to see this one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Right. And um, yes, for me personally, more work is coming. Um, as long as I stay healthy. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And um, to you guys, thank you for having me here. Thank you, guys. Um, catch us on all the podcasts that you... Um, wow. Platforms, podcast, platforms that you... That you catch your podcasts Catch us on all the podcasts that you platform. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. England meet and greet and then go on our YouTube page and just follow us keep like subscribe us. comment use the hashtag yeah. IMG podcast and also send us an email that that's um was it called? Info at England. No, no, not info. No. It's um, ah. an IMG podcast at Gmail that no, at in, no, whatever. Just yes. physically. Yeah. It so exists. Yeah. Please, <laughs> just look at eh, In YouTube, eh, just ask your questions, comments, and whatever. That email, know. we have... We have you know, Guys, you know bye, the course. Bye. Yeah, Thank that's... you so much. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Hello everyone. I know a lot of you have questions about Nollywood and I've seen it in our comment sections. Going forward, we'll be having a segment that basically addresses these questions called Inkblot Answers. If you have any questions, please reach out to us on Twitter, on Instagram, or even on our YouTube channel at Inkblot Presents. And we'll be taking your questions going forward. Look forward to hearing from you.